The Type 5. All right, we've got five separate sporting topics to talk about. And then we go to the Mex. He's driving from Tauranga down to Wellington. He's just going to pull over on the side of the road. Reckons he'll be about two pull somewhere. Hopefully we've got a signal that there's a cell phone, so cell phone tower south of Auckland working at the moment. Um, we'll talk about Fozzie and that interview um, and, um, and, and what you thought of it. T20 Women's World Cup. Well, I think we slink out with our tail between our legs, don't we? The what might have been department. Many comments to make. Why do goalkeepers think they can play football? A couple of absolute howlers in the Champions League today, both from Real Madrid and also Liverpool. Uh, Bowden Barrett says picking overseas stars could benefit the All Blacks. Come on, please. You're not bloody serious, are you? And also uh, more about the Black Ferns so-called snubbing at the Laureus Sports Awards. Let's start with Foz, though, because we're going to talk to, to the Mechs about this shortly. And look, one of the things... When I was speaking to Max earlier saying, uh, mate, I'd love you to come on and comment about this. He says, Martin, I feel very strongly about it. One of the things that I just, I find unfathomable is that there is no one on that New Zealand rugby board who has worn an All Black jersey. And for everyone who's sitting out there going, you know, New Zealand rugby is not just about the All Blacks. Listen, from a commercial perspective, it is only about the All Blacks. Nothing else sells. A very good friend of mine ran Rugby Pass, sold it to Sky for $68 million. Now, Sky have now offloaded that as part of the deal to get the Rugby World Cup hosted. Uh, television rights out of world rugby and world rugby put it up 68 million dollars he's been the best part of 15 years trying to sell internet rugby rights all over the world all over the world he used to go down and have meetings uh, he used to tell me with um new zealand rugby steve chu was a ceo and they'd laugh at him they'd say oh no you don't know what you're doing you know he says mate here are the figures of what people are watching he was based in singapore so he's looking at figures of asia australasia europe he, no one's watching no one's interested the only thing out of New Zealand that sells is the All Blacks. Now, again, the board member that I was talking to this morning was arguing with me about this. Board member for are saying, look, and oh, no, shit, no, all our, all our players, oh, people want to. No, they don't. They don't. It's, 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 it's a completely false picture. You've got a pyramid. What New Zealand rugby sells is a pyramid. At the top is the All Blacks. But you can't have the All Blacks unless you buy all this other rubbish that nobody wants, right? So they buy all of that. Sky buy all of that because it just fills up channel time. But the rest of the world's Broadcasting network is saying, we don't want it. We don't need it. No one's watching it. So what they do is they buy the All Blacks and they don't play any of the other stuff. So you can sit there if you want. New Zealand rugby, wow, it's bloody commercially brilliant. You know, no one's watching, no one cares. Anyway, let's go back to Ian Foster. What happens now? What To you as a fan, what's the, what's the best outcome from here? Oh, as a fan? Yeah. Okay, honestly, the best outcome from here as a fan is that this all gets put to the side and NZR's lawmakers, namely Mark Robinson and his, um, his, his little elves, do their jobs properly and respectfully. Fozzie gets to just, regardless of whether I think he should be in the job based on his ability, it doesn't matter. And we matter. disagree on this. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Because he was re-endorsed into the job and we've got seven months until the... Under seven months, six and a half months until the World Cup kicks off. It's something like the 8th of September. Um, so what, what, what needs to happen is there's an element of unity with the board and Mark Robinson, Andy and Foster. They allow him to do his job. Whatever goes on... Hang on just a second. Field, when you say they allow him to do his job, and if he says... I can only do my job if you if you if you stop the stuff and do it. Yes, that means okay. Yeah. Now NZR then need to go. They'll, they'll need to be honest to Fozzie because they do need to lock in the next coach before the World Cup. You can't lose your next coach, and it it, it won't be in Foster based on what's going on. I think we can all agree on that. So what you do is you say to Fozzie, we will not do anything that allows the appointment of the next coach get into the public sphere. So publicly. There's nothing stopping you from focusing on the players, focusing on the job. Well, how getting does that everything stop ready. all the questions to Scott Robertson and every time he has a press conference saying, well, have, have you heard? Cause Scott, you... No, no, because Scott Robertson's got to say, I, I, I haven't heard anything. Everything is handled behind the scenes and NZR don't do anything publicly. You just don't do anything publicly. Oh, I made it leak. You know it's going to leak. I mean, well, this is the thing. Place, isn't it? It'll leak because yeah. there is not one genuine, yeah. decent person yeah. in NZR. Now, I've just seen a text coming, by the way, and I don't think there's a name to the text. Uh, Grant. Uh, Marty, what you just said about talking to the unknown board member and reporting to us what he said makes you part of the leaks you and Lachlan have How been getting stuck into. How do you know it was a he? How do you know? I didn't even say yeah. it was a he. But, but, but beside the point, the leaks that we talk about 
Uh, without giving too much away, very powerful people within NZR talking to the media for a, uh, for, for a direct purpose for that person in the media to leak that information. What Marty's talking about, this is just a, a conversation where things have been brought up and it's like, oh, hold up, that, that's not good. This guy's not coming to Marty or I or this woman, as you say, man or woman, we don't know who it is, or gender neutral, could be they them. Yeah. Um, there's no intent for that information to get out into the public sphere and then indirectly put the squeezer on Ian Foster. It's totally different scenarios. Topic number two, because we've got to race through here because the Mex is waiting for us, and nobody wants to talk about this. Why do goalkeepers think that they can play football? Your goalkeeper, Real Madrid, both oh, absolute howlers, both dribbling out from the back, both trying to make passes. The reason that you're in goal is because you've got no feet, mate, okay? Because you're a swimmer, you're a tennis player. That's why. Because if you could play football, you'd be up at front scoring goals. When the ball comes to you as a goalkeeper, kids, please listen to me. I don't care what your coach says. What New Zealand football says about playing from the back and that's how we're going to play, get rid of the goddamn thing. Yeah, hoof it. Get it out of the area. First and foremost, as a defender, get it in out of the defense, danger zone. In my defence, or the defence of my football club, whose uh, memorabilia and apparel I won't be wearing for the next wee while, um, Real Madrid's goalkeeper, Thiebaud Courtois' howler was far worse than Ellison's because he tried to dribble the ball around, knocked it off his knee, gave it straight to Mo Salah, put <laughs> it in the back to of the watch. net. Glorious to watch. What a glorious the ball was passed back to him, he tried to play a long ball and it deflected off a Real Madrid play and went to his own goal. They're both ridiculous and dumb and stupid. Just hoof it, Allison. But at least he was making a play where there was an intent, OK, let's do that, whereas the Real Madrid guy's like, oh, hey, c come at me, Mo. Oh, hey. And then, oh, OK. Real Madrid down 2 0 after 40 minutes, 1 5 to at Anfield this morning. Unbelievable game. No, it wasn't result. 40 minutes, it was about 30 14 minutes. minutes. Sorry, 14 oh, minutes. 14, all right. Yes or no, were the Black Ferns snubbed at the Laureus Awards? No. They weren't snubbed, ladies and gentlemen, because the Laureus Awards is about outstanding achievement and globally recognised world sporting events, and the, the Women's sports... World Cup is not one of those. Yeah. I think the Sportsman of the Year at last year's awards was Max Verstappen. I'm sorry, but you know, no. and despite the over exuberance of the gushy New Zealand sports media trying to ram it down your throat, Women's World Cup rugby is not an international event of any consequence or significance at the moment. At the moment. That's, that's the truth. T20 Women's World Cup. We come home tail between the legs. Is that what we deserve? Yes. When you get smacked up in those first two games the way we did with an appalling batting display, I don't really care about the fact that, yeah, we came back and beat Bangladesh and really, to our credit, performed well against Sri Lanka. When you falter and you more or less seal your own fate at your own hands, I hate it. And even, even on my own teams, even my Liverpools and my Lakers or whatnot, or Brisbane Broncos, I hate it when I get bailed out by someone else because I feel like I don't deserve it. Look, we weren't good enough. The table never lies. I'll roll out every single cliche that you want to hear, people, but yeah. it's true. You can sit there and say, we deserve to make the eight, the Warriors. We won six games. Come yeah. on. Oh, we're showing promise. Say that, you're, man, we United, lost. we should have been in the Champions League. No, we finished sixth or yeah. fifth or whatever it was. The table doesn't lie. Yeah. You get what you deserve because that's how you play and those are the results. Finally, yes or no? Bowden Barrett says picking overseas stars could benefit the All Blacks. I think this is an... Eh. Mate, you should do stand-up comedy, Bowden. I mean, I love you like a brother, but for God's sake, are you telling me that all of these players going to Japan are going to come back and be better players for the All... No, they're no, not. No. The reason you guys are going to Japan is because it's too damn hard, to quote Watto, <laughs> to play in France and play 30 games in England. Yeah, you you're going to, to Japan because it's a ticket ride. You want to play on a fast track. I mean, you're, you're playing, club, money, you're playing rugby. club rugby is what yeah. you are. I, know, and I don't even believe those Japanese sides. As Jamie Joseph told us, did he not, a couple of months ago, that they wouldn't beat the NPC sides? Yeah. That's the level of he rugby. He said there's a false perception of the Japanese game being strong. It isn't. The national side has performed well, but our clubs and our lower grades aren't great. They're lacking, and he said we don't have the players to actually get a super rugby side I mean, I mean, That's how, the truth. How on earth do these players think, or at least the public think, that the best players going offshore is going to benefit super rugby in our national game? The All Blacks are formed because of Super Rugby, NPC, Club Rugby, Grassroots and all of that. Without that, if you take that away and guys are going off overseas and they're not even playing together, so when they do come back for international duty, they haven't met half the guys, they haven't caught up in six months, there's no cohesion, there's no connection with the team environment. How's that going to make the All Blacks better? It's just a way for these players to still don, the Black and Jersey, be national heroes is, and then get money that's overseas. It. Absolutely, that's all it is. All right, let's go to the mix. <laughs> <laughs> I met me misses. The Platform.